Hello YouTube, Dustin here, giving you an introduction to my nano cube. Uh, just a little full tank shot here. You can see there on the right my clown. Uh, he's a monster clown. I got the lawnmower bunny just hanging out up top, kind of giving us a little wave right now. Hello. Uh, there's a six line rass in there as well. Kind of hard to see sometimes, he's quick. Um, but I'm sure he'll come out sometime in this video. Um, little background, there he is, little six line over there on the right side. A uh, little background on this tank, uh, my wife picked it up for me, uh, it was actually at a uh, yard sale, uh, oddly enough somebody had it, I don't know if they really realized what they had, um, she picked it up real cheap, um, they had done some, well not they, someone at some point has done some mods to the back chambers there, uh, you can see I've got two returns. Uh, one, the one on the left there is kind of like a, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen spin streams or something like that. It's supposed to rotate. I've actually stopped it from rotating just because the pump that I have going to it is a Maxi Jet 900. And uh, it's really probably too much flow to come out of that little, little nozzle there. And it was really beating the tank up. Um, and then the other side is uh, two other returns. They're just nozzles. Uh, it's a single return that's been uh, kind of teed into two different return nozzles there. i give you a little closer view of uh, some of the inhabitants here. Uh, we have there on the right hand side uh, some pulsing Xenia. Uh, one of the guys from our local reef club actually gave this to me. Uh, I don't know, that's probably been a week, two weeks now. Um, a lot of people so they don't like them because they become weedish and it'll take your tank over. So far, so good for me. Um, you know, I'm just going to be mindful that I need to keep an eye on this thing and make sure that it doesn't get out of control and start overtaking things and start popping up all over the place. Um, going down here, this is the first, I guess, frag, if you can call it that, that I bought. Um, it's been probably six months ago. This was previously in a 16-gallon uh, bio cube that I had set up in my living room uh, that's been torn down. Um, that's actually where all the rock that's in here came from as well. Um, this came in, I, I bought this probably as like four heads, I'm guessing. And you can see it's reproduced quite a bit. There's actually some more of it in another part of the tank. Um, but anyway, so it's reproduced. It's done pretty well. It's a mushroom can't say much about it other than it's a mushroom not my favorite thing in the world but it was a good thing to start with uh, kind of gives me an indication of what's going on uh, kind of a, a good starting point for me there's the clownfish again he likes to hide down in that little cave he has there um, down here there's a several shells there we go um, right there is an Asari snail it's half buried uh, he moves around in there all the time. I don't know why he hangs out in that, that one area. It doesn't really go very far. Uh, the purple colored uh, shell there in the back has a red lake hermit crab in it. Um, there's three or four of those in the tank right now. Um, got, I think, four Nasaria snails and a couple of Astria at this point. Um, there is my Lamar Blenny. He's a fat boy. Um, eats a ton. There was algae. I just before I got him, I was having some algae issues. Um, got him, he came through and absolutely tore the place up and got real fat in the process. Um, here is a frag of zoanthids that I just picked up yesterday from Ideal Aquatics here in Cincinnati. Uh, it's a nice little shop. It's, just, it's a smaller place, uh, but they have a lot of corals, much more than anybody else around here does. Um, and real good reasonable prices, too. Definitely something worth checking out if you live in the Cincinnati area. Uh, that is my Blasto. I picked him up at the same time I did this clownfish. Uh, didn't know what it was. Uh, I'm still kind of new in the game of corals. Uh, just started trying to keep anything other than that silly little mushroom about a month ago. Uh, I picked this guy up when I picked up the clownfish, like I said. The guy who didn't know, the guy I picked it up from didn't know what it was, and I didn't know either. Um, in his tank, it was it was smaller, um, kind of pulled back in. Uh, since I've gotten it, it's it's really expanded and, and fluffs out like this every day. 
Um, we both honestly thought it was some type of mushroom. I picked it up real cheap compared to what it's actually probably worth. Um, so, you know, always good to be on the plus side of, uh, you know, a, a Craigslist deal, that's for sure. Um, here's another Fragazoanthids that I picked up yesterday at Ideal Aquatics. You see, there's some type of little mollusk of some sort, some type of shelled creature right smack dab in the middle there. Um, also came with a very small, like, spiral shelled snail. Um, as a hitchhiker, I'm not really sure what it was or where it went to, but uh, it seemed perfectly harmless. And uh, this guy's always got really good quality stuff, so I'm not concerned about it. I just didn't know what it was really. Um, I'm trying to think outside of that, the only thing else I have going on, and I don't know if it'll show very well on the camera. You can see those tubes coming off of these rocks. Um, a lot of dusters in there. Uh, tiny little guys. Let's see over here. You can see that tube. I stuck my hand in the tank a couple of minutes ago and kind of pissed some of these corals off so they're not as out. Well, that one's coming back out, but you can see the the uh, the greenish yellow zoanthid up here is, is not coming out. Excuse me, I don't know the names of any of these uh, zoanthids that I have in here. There's several different type on that rock. There's probably three different type between what you can see here in the front and there's a couple in the back um, and then there's at least two different types right down here and you can see them up front they got the red ones and then there's it almost looks like a variety close to what's on that the main one that's on that other rock the yellow with the orange centers um, I don't know I'd say that that's pretty much the tank um, I'm gonna keep going with updates on this thing try to let everybody know what's going on. Uh, one thing that's getting ready to happen in the next couple of days, I uh, purchased a box of supplies, um, used supplies off of one of the reef forums that uh, that I belong to called casualreef.com. Um, one of the things in there is a, a clip-on metal halide, 150 watt. I'm gonna try it out on this tank and see if it doesn't absolutely nuke everything. You know, I, I don't have any experience at all with metal halides, so I don't know how that's going to go. But, you know, hopefully it's not anything too strong for this tank and it's something that I can start using on this tank and maybe get some uh, some hard corals in here. Um, some of a little more skill, a little more, you know, uh, a little more prestigious, I guess, uh, type coral. Um, one of the other things I just noticed that I didn't say anything about, I've got these, uh, these white starfish in here. They're little mini starfish. I forget the name of them, of course, now that I'm doing this video. Um, researching them, they seem to be a, a fine member of the reefing community, so I'm not too concerned. Um, but uh, they are reproducing like crazy. There's In this tiny little tank, there's probably 50 of them. Um, of course, you see them more at night when you turn the lights off and go through with a flashlight. Uh, but there's tons of these things all over the place. Uh, one of the things... So, I've got that metal halide clip on coming in. There's also a skimmer in there, a nano skimmer that I think is going to go real well with this tank. Um, I had a skimmer on here, but it was a real cheap, uh, basically an airstone uh, with a collection cup at the end of it, um, and it caused more issues than it was worth. So I, I turned that off and, and haven't been running anything. So once I get this other skimmer in here, hopefully it fits in that back uh, back area in the back here and. Uh, I'll be able to run that skimmer on this tank as well. Um, so let you guys know, the I have a, a small fixture on here. It's an Aquatic Life 2-bulb T5. Um, it's got the... Uh, oh, that's bright in the camera. It's got the two bulbs that came with it. Um, nothing crazy. I haven't upgraded that at all. It seems to be sufficient enough to take care of what I'm trying to do. Um, but I am looking to... Uh, like I said, hopefully get that metal halide on there and maybe step up the, the coral. Well, that's it for now. Um, I'll try to keep these updates up as I get new things going on in the tank or make new purchases. Maybe once I get that metal halide on there on, uh, I believe that box should be in on Tuesday. Once I get that on there, hopefully I can make another video and, and send it out to everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you care to, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, more videos to come. Thanks.